And here in the valley, we are uh, recovering after strong storms last week. Warm days ahead, that's the good news. Yes, Hurricane uh, Hannah for us. Now you got Tropical Storm Issa Ia. So it's been a very active yes. tropical season, and here we are just barely into. August. We got a long ways to go, but for us, at least we're getting some relief now. As high pressure will continue over the northwestern Gulf of Mexico, that clockwise flow will keep the Gulf moisture coming in, but high means dry, and so we're looking at uh, very little in the way of any significant clouds. We just have those fair weather clouds out there right now. Very warm overnights and little to no rain, at least for the next few days. Unfortunately, I still have some rain in our seven day forecast. Very isolated showers and thunder showers way offshore, and isolated, I mean, they're pretty far apart. And so that's why I do think we'll be rain free across the area today. I don't even think the sea breeze is going to have a chance to be activated this afternoon. So that's a good thing. Highs today in the 80s along the coast, and then we'll be in the low to mid 90s for the lower to mid valley. And then as you head out in the upper valley, Star County, well up into those 90s to near 100 degrees. But that's not the big story. It's with all the rain we've had, the feels like that heat and that temperature and humidity together working to give us about 105 to 110, 112 or so, what it's going to feel like. This afternoon, it already feels above 100 degrees or across a large part of the area. Also, the UV index is still extreme. So remember, without any sunscreen, you're going to burn in about 5 to 10 minutes. Make sure you get that stuff all over. You're going to have to use a paintbrush to get yourself all lathered up with all that sunscreen. And also, make sure you check that back seat. Make sure your pets stay, uh, have plenty of shade and water and stay hydrated. 87 on the island today. Looking at a low risk of rip currents. That surf temperature is warm and toasty, running 85 degrees right now. And the height, uh, surf height, running about one to two feet. Out in the tropics, so of course, we're talking about Isa Ias. We're also looking out in the far stretches of the Atlantic. Not a whole lot happening, just some tropical waves moving off Africa, but not being monitored right now. In this area right here, Hurricane Center watching, just giving it a 20% uh, chance of development over the next few days. But Isa Ias, that's the storm, and looking at high pressure over the Gulf of Mexico, keeping that storm far away from us as it moves up the eastern seaboard. Here is a look at the latest. So there is the wind, still 70 miles an hour. That makes it still a tropical storm, but a very strong tropical storm, just about four miles an hour below being a Category 1 hurricane, which it is expected to become before landfall tomorrow, moving north at 13 miles per hour. And there is the track. Again, Category 1 hurricane. This is going to be by tomorrow afternoon evening, making its way on shore, South Carolina, uh, and moving into the uh, North Carolina as the day progresses. And then it kind of just hugs the coast there a little bit. Still has tropical storm strength going all the way up into Nova Scotia before it finally starts to fall apart. This is going to be a major rainmaker for the eastern U.S. And again, the heaviest rainfall right up against the coast. It's not a big storm. As long as it stays far enough east, it, uh, the rain doesn't go as far inland as it could. And again, it's moving right off towards the north. So your seven-day forecast. And for us, looking at rain-free conditions over the next few days, but then the small rain chances come back in, unfortunately, for Thursday and Friday. Better chances for Saturday. But for the next few days, yes, it's hot and humid. But at least we're going to look, be looking at rain-free conditions and still a lot of people trying to recover yes. from Hurricane Hannah. All the rains we even had over the weekend, so we still have flood warnings across parts of the areas the water tries to recede. So It's rare, but we can say the heat is a good thing right now. It is. The mosquitoes are out. Make sure you got plenty Oof. of that DEET. All right. Thank you, Jim.